emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Okay, here we are. Here's the business end. Here's the propellers. Now, I've gone for a three-bladed central propeller. Uh, I know there's a lot of discussion everywhere about whether Titanic had a three or a four-bladed propeller. In fact, the kit itself provides the alternative four-blade propeller. But I believe there's a 99% chance that the vessels, the vessel that is often pictured with a four blade pr propeller is her sister uh, Britannic um, or Olympic and Titanic was in fact fitted with a three blade propeller so I've gone for that. Now then these are the um, propellers out of the box and all I've done with them is applied uh, some true metal because they start life like this with a um, black uh, primer coat and then all we need to do is uh, apply the um, bare metal. Here it is, propeller number three. Um, we're going to make this propeller uh, match the other two, uh, a nice and shiny uh, propeller. Uh, a word on that is that when you come to cut these propellers off the sprue, don't get them mixed up. Uh, because they're different. They might look the same but if you look at the set of the blades they are set differently. It's because on a twin bladed um, ship, on a twin propeller ship, uh, the, pro the propellers turn outwards. So the blades are set so that it would dig in the water and pull itself along like that. That's a simple explanation anyway but uh, the best thing to do is when you take them off and put them on a little cocktail stick like this to paint um, just mark them so that you don't mix them up anyway on with on with that so what we're going to do uh, to do this we're going to use um, a product called true metal not bare metal true metal um, I have a couple of these I've got all bronze and I've got brass brass is going to be quite nice if you want to do your propellers in brass um, showcase models, desktop models, uh, builders models, everything like that. Um, the propellers usually come in brass and they're nice and shiny and I've also got steel which isn't um, really what we want uh, but I'm not going to use brass I'll use all bronze because um, it's a little bit darker it's still shiny but it doesn't uh, give that brassy shine it gives it a look of like a, a phosphor bronze which is probably what propellers would be made of anyway and how do we apply this well as you see got some gloves on because it can be quite messy all we need is a, cocktail, uh, a, a baby bud uh, a cotton bud and this product is like a bit of a wax so all we do is we just slap it on it's dead easy to do, doesn't take long at all, really good product and a lot of it, a, a little bit of it goes a long way I should say. So slap it on, get it all over. You can do it with, you don't have to use a cotton bud, you can use a paintbrush or even your finger. If you watched my U-boat um, video you'll see that I use this a lot um, especially when I was doing the torpedoes and things and it comes out really well. It can be uh, overcoated with a clear coat which I'll be doing when it's all together I'll give the whole thing a clear coat uh, because it it does wear off if if you handle it a lot it wears off. So it doesn't take long to do this. Plenty on. So just remember, oops, plenty there. Uh, true metal, that's the stuff. So we can use that from there now. Not to waste it. Spread it about, not too thick, but not too thin. But do prime or undercoat the parts that you want to do with this stuff. Prime them in black because it works better with black. 
Okay, we just take the excess of that off. There, that's done. Just done. Make sure you've got all the edges in. And then just leave it for a few minutes. Yeah, just sit and twiddle. Spit it. Yeah, spit it for a bit. Just go round and round. Ah, right, after about 15 minutes, and um, by the time you've cleaned up the mess, um, we can move on to the next stage, the finishing part of it. And what you need for this is maybe a soft rag or a, a bit of tissue, something like that. And you can see how messy it gets. So that's why you need to wear gloves. Um, and then all we do is just polish it. Uh, really easy. Just polish it until you get a shine on it. If you happen to rub too much off just put some more back on just lightly polish don't rub too hard because all we're doing is just smoothing the wax out it's like a wax so we're just smoothing the wax out and adding a bit of shine to it And it really is as simple as that. Um, I'll just give this a little bit more shine, but you can already see from the dis from the difference it was a few moments ago. You can see it shining in the light there. It just gives it a, that nice uh, antique uh, bronzy type shine. But that's it. That's for that's as easy as that for the propellers. So you don't need to paint or anything like that. Some uh, true metal. That's a stuff. AK, yeah, AK Interactive True Metal. Right, propellers done. So one of the things that you'll find when you open the box to the Titanic, there is masses and masses of photo etch. Lots of it, all shiny and sparkly like this, and like this, and like these. Yeah, yeah th there's lots of it. Th there's far more of it over there as well. I'll just get out these out of the way because they, they interfere with the white balance and things. Um, yeah, it's all there. It's it, photo etch. It makes up the finer detail of the kit. Uh, some of the real fine window frames and things. Uh, we're going to look at the window frames in a moment, actually. Uh, here's some. They're all on the fret. Lots and lots of window frames. Um, I've been doing some already and it is a bit of a, a tedious job but it's something that you can just settle down to put some music on in the background uh, uh, and then just work away um, a, a nice easy way to do it is just to mark off as you go along what you've done what you haven't done so that when you go away for your tea or your dinner or a, a cup of tea or a drink or a lie down in a dark room you can come back and you can work out where you're up to um, another thing i found a lot easier than actually sticking these tiny window frames in with super glue was to use this this is by deluxe materials uh, you can get it from e models uh, it's glue and glaze it's actually for making uh, windows um, uh, for making uh, the representation on aircraft uh, sort of you can put it in the in the corner and drag it along and it leaves a thin film for making it windows and it's also for bonding canopies um, to the plastic so if you're building an aircraft you can bond your plastic with this and the canopy won't fog uh, if you're using um, super glue or something like that and it's really good especially this because it's got an ultra fine tip uh, so it to, we can really get in and glue these uh, windows in I'm going to show you how to do that I've already done some and they do look quite nice they, they really set it off rather than just having uh, the the sort of openings uh, but they really are quite fine uh, and it's a nice thing to do so right so what I'll do we'll go get prepared and we'll, uh, we'll get on with gluing some of these in so what do we need? Uh, right, well we obviously we're going to need 
the uh, part that we're going to uh, attach the uh, photo edge to. Uh, we're going to need the photo edge. Um, each part of the photo edge is, is numbered. You probably can't see them on the camera, but the, the frets themselves are uh, numbered right in the bottom. This is labelled as uh, fret D. Uh, so we need D44. Uh, what 243 44 now then as you see here there's some gaps they've already been used but not to worry because there are quite a number of D um, uh, D letter D frets so we just need to find the one where there's still some windows on it uh, there they are they'll do uh, that, that's it. If you if you think you've you've run out of windows as you're going along, it just means there's another fret somewhere. You probably got it in the box or something. Uh, and so we we'll need D44. How many of those will we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's three there. Have a look through the other frets. There's three more. That's six. Uh, we want a D30 so this should be on here as well uh, 30 there we are down at this down at this end uh, I'll try and keep I'll try and keep the frets out of shot a little bit just because it's uh, messes with the white balance and things uh, also what we'll need is uh, I, I cut my frets with a piece of acrylic you can see here it's Bit a bit scratched and things like that but uh, I use the acrylic it's just a bit firmer than cutting on your uh, cutting mat and also a uh, chisel edged uh, scalpel blade just uh, I, I just keep this just for slicing out photo etch uh, so what we need uh, we need six of these so I'll cut one I'll, I'll do a couple and then I'll carry on and do the rest so we just need to put this on here and as close as you can to the part if I try to see past the camera just as close as you can to the part is just slice it off that's one the closer you can slice it off the fret the less clean up you have to do so so there's one and some tweezers sometimes come in handy too some fine tweezers uh, now you probably find that if you look really closely try and keep your focus if you can look really closely you can see in the window frame there is a recess for this window to sit on now then hopefully the the glue's working and hasn't gone hard in the in the tube so we'll get that out of the way and then we'll take the glue and just apply the glue to the frame we don't need to flood it we just need to touch a little touch in the corners because we can then just clean the end and just drag, drag I'm not squeezing I'm not applying any glue I'm just using the point to drag the glue around you can also use your toothpick if you want to do it that way now this uh, glue dries clear so don't worry too much about that <coughs> And then we can take the window, pick it up with the tweezers, try not to drop it too much, and just pop it in. And it will, I found that each of these windows has gone in with like a, not so much a click, but it will sit inside the recess so that's why you need to make sure that you're actually cutting off 
any uh, excess and you're cutting it off nice and smooth there it's gone in there we are there's that one let's do another one find the right sprue again find a sprue I keep calling it sprue it's a fret once again the uh, brass mix and mess with the white balance If you don't have a piece of acrylic, uh, something like a, a, an old ceramic tile does the trick as well. Concentration as I cut this off. There we go. I, I'm trying to leave the plastic on the, on the fret as much as possible it saves any sort of losses anything getting broken or anything like that but uh, it will all come off eventually so that's nice and clean we'll just have a final look at it so yep nice and clean once again go over to the uh, glue and glaze touch it's really much easier doing it with this than trying to get uh, some uh, super glue in if you're using super glue uh, remember to try and use a fresh bottle uh, it does go off if it's left on the shelf you can store it in the fridge uh, to extend its shelf life but eventually it does go off and you'll find that the super glue isn't super anymore it's just non-sticky it doesn't seem to want to stick anything apart from your fingers Yeah, you'll find that as I said they will push in they are or have been up to now quite a tight fit in the window frames so that's oh just pulled it out what oh. let's try again I promise you they do stick because I had glue on my thumb it pulled it out again there we are, sorted Oh yeah, that's two of the window frames done. Uh, you'll need to do all of them uh, on this deck. So I'm I'm working on this one, and down here is some of the deck planking to do. We can paint that, and I'll show you shortly how we can make the deck planking a little bit more realistic by putting some caulking between the planks rather than them just being a sort of look as though they're, they're pressed into the plastic but in the meantime i'll go and carry on with the uh, photo etch window frames for this deck at least and i'll be back shortly and right i'm just putting my airbrush back together here after a really thorough clean um, because i've been um, spraying white paint um, for the um, sides of the superstructure the cabins and such like that as you can see here um, white paint yes not the best of paints to um, 
to paint with goes along with orange uh, also a difficult color it's just because of the pigments in the actual paint itself uh, it's really it, oops it's really difficult to uh, get a really smooth coat of white uh, but all you need to do is some really really thin coats let it dry and then go on from there I've used uh, as a primer uh, the ultimate um, white primer a tip for you if you want to see where you've gone with the white primer and before you overcoat it with the top coat white add a tiny tiny touch of something like red It'll just give it a tint not a lot you, you just you just need like one uh, drop on the end of your paintbrush just dip it in and then you can tint the white it won't make any difference to the um, to, to the primer but when you come to put the top coat on uh, you'll see where the primer is and where the white top coat goes uh, for the top coat I've used um, Mr Hobby um, yes it's a, it's a lacquer paint and it stinks uh, if you're using the Mr Hob uh, the Mr Colour lacquer uh, use the uh, Mr Ho Mr Colour um, thinners as well uh, because this won't mix with water or alcohol or other things like that it will make a mess and then clean your airbrush uh, thoroughly after it that's if you value your airbrush so that's Mr Hobby uh, Mr Colour I keep confusing them Mr Colour from Mr Hobby uh, number 62 flat white from e-models obviously um, I've, so I've done them um, the deck that you saw me with just a short time ago putting the cabins in I put all them together uh, that's just in the process of drying uh, then I'm going to spray the decks like I told, told, uh, spoke about uh, and now uh, what we will do I've sprayed the uh, forehead deck and the poop deck so we can go along and have a look at them and I can explain how I'm going to um, sort of put the corking in between the lines on the imprinted deck so that's really yeah that's the white paint out of the way these parts here do break they are in two sections it might be an idea to to spray them first then glue them together because they have they are too big to go in my, air bo air, uh, my spray booth and it just makes the whole uh, house stink so right we'll go get that um, the decks and we'll have a look at them I'm doing some uh, uh, some pa uh, lines pa uh, within the deck so, okay and here's a section that you saw before on the um, the, the plans um, as you can see I've now finished uh, gluing all the the window frames in and I've also glued the bulkheads uh, to the deck uh, this is deck Q1 I think it was in the plan uh, uh, and then I masked it all off um, I sprayed the white as we'd uh, because the airbrush was full of uh, white spray paint I, I sprayed the bulkheads as well and also uh, the interior of the uh, the decks not that you're going to really be seeing them but just to give it uh, a color so that if you look through the windows the portholes you won't see bare plastic so this is just white this is uh, just white primer now the one of the two staircases either the uh, I don't know which of these is the famous grand staircase uh, once again there are um, aftermarket uh, plans uh, uh, parts available to super detail all this but we're not going to do that um, and also as you know there's plans uh, parts available for wooden decking as well but we're just going to build this straight out the box to show what uh, a great model you can actually make without um, spending all the extra on the model so that's the deck we'll put that to one side um, and we'll have a look at uh, doing the corking on the other parts of the decks that I um, 
I've prepared earlier. This is the the poop deck, the aft part of the deck itself. Uh, sorry, the aft part of the boat itself, the aft deck. Um, this is in its natural state. Um, it has been painted with a uh, wooden deck tan XF78, um, which I find is a really um, useful. It's a, it's a nice deck colour. Um, it's a, a bit of a, a sand type colour, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, to me, obviously, wooden deck tan XF78. So that's that one. Uh, what we do with these is give this, um, before we do any work on the deck, we give these a coat of a gloss varnish. Uh, that's going to help with the next stage of highlighting the uh, corking between the deck planks and it should leave us with an effect similar to this. You can see the, see the difference in the two. Uh, it's really easy to do, it's just like simple weathering, uh, just a pin wash but we'll have a look at that. And all we're going to use for that is just some uh, oil paint and some odorless thinners and uh, a, a small fine brush if I can find one. Uh, right, I'll go, I'll go get things ready, mix up some oils and we'll see if we can get some caulking done on this bit. All right, I'll go get that. Where's it at? What are we going to do? And so as we come back to it, well, we're now beginning the caulking uh, between the planks. It just gives it a, a nice, a nice finish, uh, as opposed to just the imprinted uh, look on the decks. And as you know, it's just like doing a panel wash. I'm sure you don't have to tell you how to make a panel wash. Uh, a panel line wash. It's just a uh, oil paint and as you saw before the uh, odorless thinners and what we're looking to do is produce a coloured thinner rather than a thinned colour. And This will actually take us quite a long time to do because there's lots of lots of deck but once again it's all what our hobby is all about. Just taking our time, enjoying, uh, enjoying the build. Oh, yeah. So that's it. That is the secret, no secret really, of doing some panel line washes and reproducing the corking. What we're going to do with this is we'll do it all. It could do it in sections uh, because by the time you've done one section, uh, the first section will be ready for drying and clearing up. I'll leave it for about 30 minutes just to let the, uh, the carrier uh, flash off the oldest thinnest flash off, and then we can clean up uh, clean it up with some uh, cotton buds. But you know, you know, the you all know the secret to this of applying a paddle line wash. But yeah, it's a big model, it's going to take us a long time to do, but the effect in the end is going to be worth it. And this does actually make a difference. Where's me? Where's the other part gone? Yeah, you can already see in there how much of a difference it does. It does make. And really easy to do. Just take your time to do it. And yeah, you can't go too wrong. So what we're going to do now. Um, We'll finish the video here because we're about ready now to do um, some uh, assembly work. This has all really been about um, getting everything ready to assemble. But once we've done this uh, on all the decks, um, 
we can start we with, with the uh, assembly of the decks and the bulkheads and building up from the hull upwards. Um, we'll look in the next video at putting uh, lighting in the hull, just a simple lighting effect in the hull, nothing too um, complicated. It's extra uh, to the kit itself. As you, as you know, the hull's not lit up. That's why we, we drilled all the portholes out in the first place. And once we've done the lighting in the hull, uh, we can begin to seal it up and build upwards. Uh, because I have discovered that there is actually no access into the hull once it's built. Oh dear. I thought I was going to be able to take it apart and transport it and things. You might notice that some of the colours are darker than uh, are darker than others. It doesn't matter. It adds it adds to it. It doesn't matter at all. You can clean it clean it all off. But uh, anyway, while I carry on with this. I'll do a, a final shot of it all done and we'll see you for the next part of the video. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget uh, like and subscribe uh, and keep up with the uh, notifications uh, by clicking on the notification bell and you'll know whenever we put a new video out. So thanks for watching. Okay, bye now.